you know, this week, this day in baseball for the minor leaguers, we have, um, let's see, some transactions. Let's go through a few of these. There's actually quite a lot of movement. Thanks for the ads there, uh, MILB. You kind of suck too. Um, Simon Reed, um, we met in spring training, Westmont grad. I don't know if he graduated, but he definitely went to Westmont, and uh, he's with the Rancho. Very cool for him. Brandon Neek only pitched like two, I think it was 2.1 innings, struck out six uh, in the ACL. Uh, Grove was called up. He didn't pitch, though. Um, this is, you know, Joel, Joel Ibarra to the development list. Um, that's just uh, probably just to give him some rest. Maybe he's hurt. Maybe he's a little injured. I don't know. Then we got Juan Alonso and La La Alonso and Lorenzo to um, the injured list, and then Jared Caros to the development list. But he's supposed to start on on Wednesday or not Wednesday, Saturday, I think it was. So he's not hurt. And da, 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 so many same things. Uh, Daniel Hudson, David Dahl to the Dodgers. Zach Birdie. Uh, oh, Jimmy Nelson. That's another guy. <laughs> if, if old Jimmy Yimmy Nelson could somehow be healthy just for a little bit. Wouldn't it be great? Um, <laughs> let's see. We got that guy. Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, Hamlet got transferred back to the development list. I think Hamlet is um, doing plenty of, he's going to be doing plenty of time at Dodger Stadium. He's been there a lot. He does, does some work there. Uh, let's go to the games that happened today. Um, we have our DSL, Batista versus Mega. So this is our own team, guys, here. Now, I am not terribly familiar with some of these people. So we'll take a look. Vargas, um, that is the guy. Here's one of our other Vargases. He's a shortstop they signed. Yeah, Yo Yoendry. Um, he is a good one. And um, that he's, you yeah. know. A whole 17 years old. He ain't turned 18 until November. And he's tearing it up. No, no power yet. But uh, the on-base and you know, the OP, OPS is good. Um, I think there, there's more. Let's see this Quintero. I mean, he went two for four. Ah, maybe not. Oh, there we go. We'll get back at it. These are just, you know, it's just time to get familiar with some of these guys. We'll have to do some more deep dives. Um, maybe we'll get some writing about it. You know, Ryan Fala right now has been carrying the torch with writing. Um, Eduardo Quintero. That's yeah, really slow. Let's not mess around. So he's another. Oh, here he is. Gosh, the ma everything, everything just kind of got slow. I think I'm going to kill some page. Another guy. <laughs> 17. Another Venezuelan hitting 400. I'm going to kill these Baseball America pages because I think they're making my performance go down. Um, get rid of the transaction because these darn MILB pages just kill you. So sorry about that, folks. Um, hopefully it's not perf uh, doing too much here. Um, so we got Contaro. So that was... We're going to go back and try to look at that. So this is the, there's two teams in the Dominican Summer League. Um, that's just poo. Sorry about that. Let's go to the ACL. Come on. Um, ACL, where they played the White Sox. So that is in Arizona, if you ever have a chance to get out there. Um, and we're getting nothing. And this is the team that's got like Wilman Diaz. Um, Ronaldo Yeen. Yeen's got it. He's got to be a guy we see soon. I'm so excited about him. I did a little feature on him. Um, talking with Ramon Troncoso. He's a fan. Um, so okay, I can dump the OKC page here because they didn't play. They had, they got um, rained out. Let's see if we can go to the Quakes, see where they're at. They were way down. They were getting smoked. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, totally great, great question about Ibarra. What about that guy? Um, yeah, everything's alive with that guy. You know, his fastball's alive. Just he's kind of that guy in uh, perpetual motion. Um, and with it, there's a lot of action going on there. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought he would be up there too. 
a um, little disappointing. But, you know, the Dodgers, they got their ways. And, um, you know, Ibarra, um, yeah, I, we... And it's a guy that uh, I know that we want to we want to talk to because we keep thinking he's going to get promoted. Um, and we'll do that. We'll need Trinidad or Alex to go out there and do that. So I'm looking. Okay, Wilman Diaz in 277. That's not quite enough, but it's better than he was. Remember last year, Diaz was hitting like 120 whatever, and 120 nothing. <laughs> he was terrible, but he's doing better. Um, nothing special on the mound. Today, uh, we do need to go and, and start taking a look at um, some stuff. I know Dodgers Digest has had a couple of articles about some of these players. So Diaz playing third. Zorio, well, no big numbers there, though. and But they did win, so that's good. And let's go take a look at... Ooh, oofta. 14 to 1. So that ain't pretty. Let's take a quick look at some numbers, though. So Nevin, 0 for 3, but he's still hitting 325. Uh, DePaula, 1 for 4, 219. So he's coming around. Uh, Bittison did hit a home run today. I heard about that. Uh, Donkey, uh, down to 224. Lord help us. Um, Luis Rodriguez back, 258. So that's an improvement from last year. Um, Simon Reed in his debut not didn't have his best. Uh, Betancourt. Betancourt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Betancourt pitcher alert. There you go. In a route. He probably dominated. And Chalo, Chalo, I'm glad Chalo, Vladimir got some time. It looks like he didn't get up, get in much. So Campos was good. Where did we get? Ooh. Kelvin Ramirez and, uh, oh, what's this? Yon Castro. Oh, Neat got lit up too. So we got a lot of guys that got the snot beat out of him. And then Betancourt comes in and dominates as usual. Um, Let's see, the Loons, they did win. As usual, they win a lot of games, don't they? Newell is it, hitting 263 in double A. And um, let's see, uh, Diaz, uh, Luis Diaz looking good, three for four today. Damon Keith getting his batting average up, take 230. He's coming around. Lock Powell, there's a lot of power there. Um, Taylor Young, oh, there's Bubba. Bubba's only at 186. There's more. Uh, Max Hewitt, 100. Oh, he's playing second. Okay, he plays a lot of catcher. Um, let's see. And da, 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 da. Oh, Frankie Rodriguez. Okay, cool. He's also a catcher. Two for five. Vogel, one for four. We got to get him going more. So Lock Powell had a double. Hewitt and then Newell had a triple. Pitching Bruns. Mm, not his best. I mean, the Ks are there. The hits are there, but the walks. Um but it's been better. In fact, a lot better than last year. Um, Ortiz Mare got the W. Probably not his best. Um, again, the walks. Suarez. Oh, gosh, I don't. Why am I? I'm just brain farting on his first name. Sorry about that. Go, oh, Christian. Duh. Number 34, my favorite number, even. Um, Christian. Okay, his ERA is high though. Dang, and then Mario, um, he's the guy coming off Tommy John, still throwing high nineties. So we like, you know, it's good. Um, and then let's go check our drillers and the um, oh, drillers against oh, Northwest. Okay, Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Oh. Okay, Gothier third today. One for four, Vivas, so for two. He's still hitting 297. Ramos, 269. That's about where he's going to be. Another Vargas, Imanol, um, two for three. And then Diego, one for four. So the average is creeping up for him. That's good. Carson Taylor, 231. Leonard, 233. Brandon Lewis, 190. But these some of these guys are actually coming doing better than they were. Um, Gauthier with a homer. Vargas, Cartaya. You know, to, with, yeah, Vargas with a double, Leonard with a double, so that's good. And let's see the pitching. Ah, I, I hate the errors, dang it. Um, let's see. Oh, Rooney had a pickoff. Well, what's new? Okay, Frasso, ooh, hmm, shaky. But look at these, the ERA is still 221 after a really bad one. Alec Gambo, let's talk about him just for a minute. Lefty. And this was like his third year? So it's maybe starting his third year now? At double A, he needs a, he needs a promotion. This kind of sucks for him. 
Um, yeah, Sean's talking about agreeing with getting rid of some of the guys on on the 40 man. I think some of them aren't even worth the trade. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not going to name names because that's not very, you know, I'm just not going to do that. But there's not a ton they could get, but it doesn't matter when you've got what's coming up. Um, the guys on double A, yeah, sooner or later, yeah, or already, yeah. Um, yeah, if we don't add or trade Fiducia, man, we're going to lose them. If they're not drafted next year in the uh, Rule 5, then something's, you know, it's almost like a plot, <laughs> plot against those guys. So Gambo is a lefty. He's been having a nice year. So really happy for that guy. Finally, I interviewed him a long time ago, just through email, and I finally met him at spring training. Just a heck of a guy. Uh, sub, look at that. 1.2 innings, 4Ks. Rooney in the bullpen. Promote that guy, please. For the love of Tommy Lasorda, please promote Rooney and, and Gamboa. Um, Leisure, that's his seventh save. Um, one guy I haven't seen, I haven't been following, I just haven't been seeing as much as Pekarski. 